Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to celebrate failure and properly lay to rest another mainstream media career in the woke cemetery. For months now, the donut diva Brian Stelter has been complaining about his feelings of loneliness. The double D will no longer be lonely as we have prepared a burial plot beside him for the media career of Don Lemon. In a sign of respect, on his way to the woke cemetery, Donnie stopped by Dunkin' Donuts to get a dozen of Brian's favorite treats, the glazed wiener. Now let us take a moment of silence to honor and remember the 17 years of failure of Don Lemon at CNN. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told you guys this was coming. I've been telling you for months that this was inevitable. I got someone email me earlier today asking if I had inside sources at CNN. KC, how could you tell? How did you know this was coming? You have been saying for months that Don Lemon's media career was on life support. Believe it or not, I do not have inside sources at CNN. I mean, I don't communicate with identifiers. I communicate with normal people. I'm not Miss Cleo. I don't have a magic woke eight ball. I can't predict the future. But the firing of Don Lemon, it wasn't hard to predict. I was uploading my first video this morning when I received the news that Don Lemon was fired by CNN. Well, let me correct myself. According to CNN President Chrissy the Licker, Donnie wasn't fired. No, Donnie wasn't fired. We just agreed to part ways. Don's lemons will always be a part of the CNN family. We saved him a spot in catering next to Brian's donuts. Translation, Don Lemon was fired. When I got the news earlier this morning, it reminded me of what a former co-worker used to tell me all the time. We worked together for 10 years. He's a former Marine, 20 years older than I am. He's a smart dude. We didn't always get along, but I did learn a lot from him the 10 years we worked together. During the last few months at my job before I quit to pursue YouTube full time, I would often complain about the company. He used to tell me, when the bullshit outweighs the money, it's time for you to go. That same sentiment applies here with CNN and Don Lemon. If you're not aware of the background, the firing of Don Lemon, it makes no sense. Donnie is the only star at a network in desperate need of star power. Over the last six to eight months, name one other person at CNN that has generated headlines throughout the mainstream media. Just name one. When is the last time you heard anything about the Wolf Blitzer? The last time someone saw Wolf Blitzer, he was defecating on Brian Stelter's grave, howling at the moon. Ooh! When is the last time you heard anything about Andy Cooper, Jake the Bongo Tapper? Does anyone even know who fills the airwaves during the day at CNN? Is Brianna Kyler still entertaining daytime audiences by riding her broom around the studio? Hell, I don't know. CNN President Chris Licker, he has one star, Don Lemon. And what does he do? He fires his ass. Now on the surface, I am sure to some people it doesn't make any sense. But with Donnie Lemon, the bullshit he brought with him far outweighed any benefit he provided. Matter of fact, over the last 12, maybe 18 months, Don Lemon, he hasn't benefited CNN at all. He has provided no value. He has essentially been useless. Now sure, Donnie was generating headlines every week in the media, but the attention is meaningless when it doesn't translate to ratings. When Donnie took over for Brianna Kyler in the morning, the thinking was, we had nowhere to go but up. BK couldn't attract the Whopper to Burger King. All Donnie had to do was grow the ratings from nothing to almost nothing. Instead, he manages to find a way to go backwards. Earlier this year, when news was released about the cat fight between Don Lemon and Katie Rue Collins, I actually came to the defense of Donnie. For months now, staffers at CNN, they have been trying to squash the lemon. His former friends in the mainstream media crucified him for having the audacity to correct a woman. Even though Donnie is half man, he was still guilty of mansplaining and toxic masculinity. I was one of, if not the only person, who came to the defense of Don Lemon. I understood where he was coming from. Katie Rue kept interrupting him live on the air. In the business of television, the help doesn't interrupt the star. The help is there to assist the star. I thought Don Lemon had every right to be pissed off because if CNN this morning failed, if the trio of failures couldn't grow the non-existent audience, 
Teddy Root Collins wouldn't be blamed. Poppy Harlow wouldn't take the fall. Hell, most people don't even know Poppy Harlow exists. The one person with all the pressure, the one person who would shoulder the blame if CNN This Morning failed, would be Don and his lemons. Ironically enough, low ratings are not the reason Don's woke welfare expired. If CNN wanted to fire him for low ratings, they would have fired his ass last summer when he tanked the entire primetime lineup. Now, to be honest with you, they should have fired him last summer. Of course, Chris like, was too scared to fire Donnie. I can't fire a gay black male birthing person. He checks far too many woke boxes. Instead, I will fire a group of old white dudes along with the bald bull, Brian Stelter. Instead of firing him, CNN moved Donnie from primetime to mornings, where his go-away heat developed into nuclear heat. The demographics in morning television completely different than the demographics in prime time. Who is watching TV in the morning? Stay-at-home mom and older retired people. Is anyone surprised both groups thought Don Lemon was detestable? Like I said, low ratings are not the reason Donnie was fired. The real reason is far more ironic, and it calls for another exciting edition of The Woke turning on The Woke. This special episode is brought to you by WWI, Woke Women Incorporated. Are you tired of mansplaining? Are you looking to get a colleague fired that checks multiple woke boxes? If so, call the women at Woke Women Incorporated. We will put the team of Katie Rue and Poppy Poo on your case. They will teach you how to be the damsel in distress being attacked by toxic masculinity. Give them a call today at 801-VICTIM. According to the New York Times, the main reason Don Lemon was fired was his consistent verbal attacks on women. Back in December, he chastised Katie Rooster in front of CNN staffers. A couple of months ago, he was crucified by the mainstream media when he said Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley was past her prime years. Now, just think about this for a second. Don Lemon was not fired for the constant lies and propaganda. He wasn't fired for fabricating stories of mythical racism. Don Lemon wasn't fired for over-dramatizing the Covey. He wasn't fired for pretending Black Lives Matter protests were peaceful demonstrations of love. He wasn't fired for destroying CNN's primetime lineup, then moving that same destruction to CNN this morning. The one thing that finally got Don Lemon fired, the night that was able to peel the skin off the lemon, was the one time Don Lemon finally told the truth. I was one of the few who defended Don Lemon when he made those remarks about Nikki Haley. We all have prime years. It's just a fact of life. Women tend to peak early in life. Men, we have a tendency to peak later in life. That's not misogyny. It's the truth. Don Lemon was basically fired for telling the truth. I've been telling you guys, shit fucks are allergic to the truth. For the third time this year, I am once again coming to the defense of Don Lemon. Now, I'm not saying he shouldn't be fired. If anyone deserved to lose their job, it's Don Lemon. In the business of television, if you have been given multiple opportunities to draw ratings and you have proven you can't draw flies to freshly baked horse shit, you should be fired. But I will defend Don Lemon when it comes to the way CNN handled his departure. Believe it or not, Donnie was live on the air this morning. He completed the full three-hour show. You know how Don Lemon found out his woke welfare had expired? According to the Lemon himself, his agent told him. Management from CNN didn't approach him after the show. Chris Lick didn't call him into his office and say, Don, the women think you're repulsive. The women in our audience want to put your lemons in a blender. This just isn't working out. I gotta let you go. But I am here for you if you need a nice woke hug. None of that happened. Don Lemon received a call from his agent informing him that his woke welfare from CNN expired and he needed to get in line for Biden welfare. If this is true, it shows a complete lack of professionalism and courtesy from CNN. Me personally, I believe Don Lemon and I'll tell you why. He sent out a tweet on Twitter explaining how he found out he was being fired. CNN responded by saying, Donnie was invited to speak with us, but instead he aired his grievances on Twitter. Oh, oh, okay. Essentially, 
You just confirmed what Don Lemon said. You told his agent he was fired. You invited him to speak with you after the fact. Then he blasted you on Twitter, so now you have to do damage control. I have never been a fan of Don Lemon, but whether you love him or hate him, after 17 years of service at CNN, he deserved to be fired face to face. You don't take the coward's way out and fire him through his agent. That is a bitch move. If you're going to fire the guy, fire him to his face. But poor Donnie. <laughs> poor Donnie. This dude just can't catch a break. The firing of Don Lemon, it should be the biggest story in the mainstream media. ESPN, they had their first round of layoffs today, but it was mainly behind the scenes staffers, or what the New York Post described last week as normal people. The shit fucks won't be fired by ESPN until the second round of layoffs. Donnie should be the biggest story in the media. Don Lemon should be dominating the headlines today. But what happened shortly after Donnie was fired? Tucker Carlson was fired by Fox News. Well, he was either fired or they mutually agreed to part ways. Either way, it took all the attention away from Don Lemon. <laughs> now, the biggest question going forward, where does Don Lemon go from here? My stance hasn't changed. I have been telling you for months. His media career is over. He has ruined himself with woke women. He has no credibility with normal people. MSNBC won't hire him because he can't draw an audience. I mean, I guess he could join his former butt buddy Chris Cuomo at News Nation. Hey, it's me, Chrissy C. But I don't think his ego will allow that to happen. Don Lemon is an elitist. I can't see him joining an irrelevant news network. His contract with CNN runs through 2026. Now, if he agrees to a buyout or if he keeps collecting their money, I would imagine there's a non-compete clause, which could mean Don Lemon is off television for the next three years. That is a death sentence to his media career. There's no coming back from that. I guess we'll see what happens. I'm sure more news will be released in the coming days. We'll keep an eye on it here on the channel. But give me your thoughts. It finally happened. What I've been telling you for months finally came to fruition. Don Lemon, fired by CNN. No question today. Just sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.